Smoke everywhere. This is smoke from forest fires. I've been in the car 12 hours, 11 hours, seen nothing but smoke. My guess is this smoke goes inland from the Pacific Northwest like 600 miles. And it's been like this for 48 hours at least, two days. It seems like on the same scale as Mount St. Helens, not in terms of destruction, but in terms of particles in the air. Maybe I don't know, maybe not, I don't know, but it's big. Stuff like this is only gonna get worse. I don't know that we're gonna have a reprieve before the end of September. I really don't know what's gonna happen, but I know that stuff like this is gonna get worse. We've got hurricanes hitting the United States Eastern coast. If you don't know Jesus, get Jesus. Give your life to the Lord. If you've done terrible things, like to people like me, I forgive you. Jesus forgives you for all the sins that you did against God and against people. Let's just wipe the slate clean and you come into the family of Christ. We'll all be friends. We'll have eternity to talk about, to talk it all out and to talk and have fun and be a family. Give up this worldly life. Give your life to Jesus. Look, look at that smoke. It's only gonna get worse. The day of the Lord is a day of dark clouds. It's not a day of a forest fire, but it's dark clouds. It would not surprise me if those dark clouds were worldwide. It would not surprise me. I do a thought exercise that kind of explains all these goings on. It helps me to understand it all. In the beginning, the Lord created the heavens and the earth. He raised up the heavens like a tent. He inflated it like that game of parachute you might play in gym class. It says that he stretched out the heavens. That word stretched out means stretched out once, and it also means continually stretched out. In order for something to be stretched out once, that means it has to be stretched and stopped being stretched. You have to begin stretching it and stop, being, stop stretching it. That means it has been stretched out once. In order for something to continue to be stretched out, it means after you have stretched it out once, you continue to stretch it out. This is, the, this is what has happened to the heavens. They were stretched out once during the creation period. And then after that, they were stretched out continually. Right about right in the middle of the Bible, the prophets start talking about the sun turning black, the moon turning red, things in the heavens happening. They're, they're prophesying about the future. That future is coming upon us. And right now, it's as if the heavens are retracting. I don't know if barometric pressure is rising all over the world. I don't know that. but. It's definitely a spiritual pressure on the world, which is manifesting as though it were a real pressure. And we're seeing this type of smoke pervasive for miles and days. We're seeing massive hurricanes. It's only gonna get worse until finally the heavens retract and God shakes those heavens causing the sun to turn black and the moon to turn red and a third of the stars fall out of the sky. I'm not talking about meteor showers and eclipses. The Bible is talking about stars falling out of the sky and hitting the earth. A catastrophe to be sure, but also an eye opener. We've been taught the sun is a million miles away and a million miles in diameter or something. 
But when it turns black, people are going to see they've been lied to. Men's hearts failing them for fear of those things coming upon the earth. And that shaking of the heavens, that's that spiritual pressure which is going to manifest that shaking of the heavens, the literal shaking of the universe is going to reverberate down through that firmament, whatever's left of it, and it's going to reverberate across the earth. And that's going to cause a worldwide earthquake Every mountain and island will be shifted from their foundation. It's all caused by one thing. And that earthquake and that shifting of every mountain and every island is going to cause the seas and the waves to roar, as Luke says. Don't let your heart fail for fear of those things that are coming upon the earth. 